As with all compass skills, make sure to pay attention to these details. Orientation of the compass. It must be kept flat in order to read accurately. Your buoyancy. You're likely to accidentally float up toward the surface when you start working with your compass, so pay attention to your surroundings as well as the pressure changes in your ears. Buddy contact. You have a buddy for a reason, so while one person is managing the compass, the other should be counting kick cycles. That way, both of you can keep your eyes peeled for the item in question without either of you being overloaded with tasks. Watch out for lines. Take cutting devices with you. You should be able to reach a cutting device with either hand. And finally, a note about searching for items. If you drop something from the surface, take references from where you lost the item according to unmoving places on the shoreline or near the dive site. Make note of the compass headings of at least two things so that you have a more accurate starting point for your search.